Tiling in Thin Manager has always been one amazing feature to boost visualization. With very minimal effort, you can greatly increase what you can see and interact with on screen. Let's walk through the options available for tiling your display clients and how to enable this handy feature in Thin Manager. Tiling starts at the display client itself. On the left side tree pane in Thin Manager, navigate to display clients. Choosing a display client, click next once to move to the display client options screen. You will find on here, there's a checkbox for allow display client to be tiled. This is checked by default. Unchecking the box will still allow the display client to be assigned to a terminal, but if the terminal is tiled, that display client will not show as one of the tiles. It can still be selected from the main menu selector and shown full screen, but will not be tiled. Now let's look at the tiling options at the terminal level. From the left side tree pane, select terminals and double click into one of your terminals to open the terminal configuration wizard. Using the next button, navigate to the display client selection screen. You can see the six display clients I have currently assigned to this terminal. Clicking next one more time will take us to the terminal interface options. And under the display client selection options, you will find a checkbox for enable tiling. This too is checked by default. Next to the checkbox is also a button for tiling options. By clicking on tiling options, you can see we have several settings for tiling. The first in the series of checkboxes is show grid. This refers to showing slim divider lines between the tiles on screen to help differentiate between your tiles. The next option allows you to set an interval time for the screen to return to being tiled if you are inactive on the terminal for that set amount of time. The next checkbox allows for the terminal to boot into a tiled display at startup if desired. The next checkbox creates a tile for the main menu of the terminal. This includes options for login, about, and cancel. The main menu can also be found from the selector menu at the top of the terminal display unless turned off. The last option allows the tiles to be interactive. By default, when a, dis when a display is tiled, clicking on a tile will bring the display client full screen for you to interact with. Interactive tiles allow you to interact with the tile in the tiled display. This is a good option if you have a large display connected like a large 4K monitor. Thin Manager can tile up to a 4x4 grid. Clearly stated, you could have up to 16 display clients tiled on one monitor if you desired. I'm going to click next once more. I have added a terminal hotkey to my terminal. I've added control T to my terminal to quickly go back to the tiled display. Now I'm gonna cancel out of the wizard and select one of my tiles in my terminal shadow to bring it to active and full screen. With the terminal menu unfolded, you can see all the display clients assigned to the terminal. You can see that the active display client is highlighted with a green indicator while the other display clients have a yellow indicator. Now I'll use my hotkey to return to the tiled display. If I click on another of the tiles to bring it full screen, you can see that the indicator light on the left for that display client turns to green and the previously green display client turns to yellow. This is all handy if you're say an administrator and thin manager, you can tell which display client your operator is focused on without shadowing the terminal. Tiling in Thin Manager is a simple way to visualize multiple display clients on screen, quickly boosting visualization and productivity. Learn more about tiling and other features of Thin Manager by visiting thinmanager.com.